I'm telling you right now. I'm telling I'm telling you right now, okay? I've been saying this since the beginning. Literally. Literally since the beginning, okay? These companies, if there's any LGBTQ people out there watching me, you can hate me all you want. You can hate me all you want. That's perfectly fine. You can say your things. You can make fun of me. That's perfectly fine. It gives me engagement. But what I need to tell you, you need to listen. These companies, okay? These companies that you pander to and they pander back to you, that they swear that they love you. They swear that they support you no matter what, that they are just, they're all for you. These companies don't give a fuck about you, okay? They don't care about you. You want to know why? Because they constantly remove the content that they say they do to support you. They remove it everywhere else almost in the world. Because everywhere else in the world has very strict guidelines for their media and entertainment. And Disney loves that money. So what are they going to do? They're going to remove you so they can make extra money. Your, Your whole ideology... Your whole cause that they say they support and they're going to be an ally for you. It's complete bullshit. It's complete nonsense. They don't actually support you in any way outside of this country. Because if you if they had a choice between supporting you and getting much more money, guess which one they chose? They chose the money and told you to go fuck yourself. That's basically what just happened, and we're going to get into the article. So, of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, Whew, that was an interesting intro. <laughs> Today's article comes to us from Bounding Into Comics, and it says, Disney Plus is going to remove LGBTQ content in the Middle East to comply with local censors. I, I mean, I mean, hello? Like, I, you, you cannot, you cannot be LGBTQ and support Disney now. You just can't. Because these people don't care about you. And I keep saying this. And you guys thought because they kept a couple gay kiss scenes in some movies recently. That they all of a sudden are going to stick to their word. And they're going to stick to being an ally to LGBTQ. They're full of shit. They're full of shit. They saw the money crumbling. And now they're deciding to remove all LGBTQ. All of it. All content from Disney Plus. In order to uh, comply with uh, the Middle East. It's insane. It's insane. How can you support these people anymore? It's, oh my God, I get mad because people come out and they say, oh, well, they kept the, the kiss scene in, uh, in uh, what was it called? In uh, Lightyear. You know, they kept, they kept some other gay scenes and some other, it's all gone. All of it's gone now, bro. What's your excuse now? It says, after going to a war on behalf of the LGBTQ community within the state of Florida over the parental rights to education bill, Disney's bending the knee to the Middle East and bans on LGBTQ content on their streaming services. Disney and Pixar's Lightyear was a massive bomb at the box office, which is probably another reason why they decided to do this, by the way, because the money they thought they were going to make pandering to you people out there on Twitter, they actually lost it. And guess what? Now they got to find a way to make up the money somehow. So they're going to go right back to the Middle East and China and on their knees and beg for their money back. It's just like, it's ridiculous, man. This is so stupid. Uh, at the box office, losing the company over $100 million after calculating marketing, production, and, and, uh, and end cost as disney shifts to move its film to disney plus in hopes of boosting streaming numbers the film would not be available in middle eastern countries following disney's decision to front load a lesbian couple in the movie's marketing the film joins a growing list of disney backed films such as thor love and thunder doctor strange and the multiverse of madness west side story and eternals that have been banned in middle eastern countries due to the display of lgbtq characters within the films in a move to prevent the media giant from being banned from the region outright disney confirms that disney plus will indeed align with local censorship rules content offerings differ across our many disney plus markets based upon a number of factors content available should align with local regulatory requirements oh really 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 so so that's what we're saying now ah interesting a disney representative told thr in a statement while also stressing that the platform offers parental controls to allow families to determine what their family members watch disney plus will simply not release some of their biggest films in the last couple of years in order to avoid uh angering foreign audiences the decision to avoid upsetting the middle east based on their views towards lgbtq content is a major shift from how disney took on ron DeSantis in the state of florida earlier this year 
Light Year's same-sex kiss was initially cut from the film entirely until it was reinstated in protests of Republicans in Florida's parental rights and education bill that bans the teaching of sexuality and transgenderism to children between kindergarten through third grade. When the film was banned in Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and all these other places that I can't even say right now, Malaysia, Indonesia, before its release, actor and star of the film Chris Evans said that anyone who had a problem with the same-sex kiss is an idiot who will die off like the dinosaurs. The real truth is those people are idiots. There are always going to be people who are afraid and unaware and trying to hold on to what was before. But those people die off like dinosaurs, Evans said in an interview with Routers. I think the goal is to pay them no mind, march forward, and embrace the growth that makes us human. He added, Evans continued his frustration with those upset about the scene, citing that it bothers him that same-sex relationships are still a problem in the first place. It's tough not to be a little frustrated that it is even a topic of discussion. The goal is that we can get to a point where it is the norm and that this doesn't have to be some uncharted waters, that eventually this is just the way it is. That's representation across the board in how we make films. Well, guess what? You just cost them a ton of money. You cost them an absolute fuck metric ton of money to the point where they are going back to those markets that you say are dinosaurs and they're begging for that dinosaur money. That's what they're doing. They're begging for the money because if they're opting to remove all LGBTQ content in order to stay, you know, active in the Middle East, dude, you got to imagine how much money they were probably losing. They were they were hemorrhaging money probably. Evans' comments, which were published the week of the film's release, led to a backlash that saw moviegoers avoid the film with their children. Families opted to see Minions, The Rise of Gru, which had grossed $757 million globally as of this writing, over $530 million more than Lightyear drew in uh, the theaters, despite being released two weeks after Lightyear. Oof, that's painful. Journalist Christopher F. Rufo has worked to expose the company's internal agenda, which includes producing more LGBTQ content aimed specifically at children and donating to organizations that promote LGBTQ curriculums in elementary schools. An agenda, it should be noted, that is in different, uh, direct conflict with the beliefs of the Middle Eastern region. Meanwhile, in the United States, the fallout of Disney's war with DeSantis over the parental rights bill uh, caused the Florida Senate to pass legislation ending the tax and governing exemptions afforded to the company-owned Reedy Creek Improvement District, upon which the Walt Disney World Resort sits. What are your thoughts on Disney? So, listen, <laughs> I tell, I, God, I tell people all the time, man, these companies don't care, okay? When you see PlayStation, Sony, Xbox, Activision, Blizzard, all these, all these companies, when they come out and they go on Twitter and they go on, on their social medias, Facebook, whatever, and they put up these Black Lives Matter stuff or they put up Pride Month stuff or they put up Spanish Heritage Month stuff like dude they don't care about any of that because all you have to do is during Pride Month right when everybody changes their bio pictures to rainbow color stuff right when they do that go check out the company's other pages in other countries and see if they changed anything almost none of them have changed it's only in the stupid United States where they allow freedom of speech to that caliber where people are in their feelings and they need to see a corporate it's, it's crazy how people are reliant on corporations pandering to them in order to feel validated like why do you need a corporation to pander to you to feel validated why do you have to see them put a rainbow flag in their bio in order to feel like people care about lgbtq people why do you need that because nowhere else in the country is that needed but unfortunately in soy boy united states it seems like it's absolutely needed and that's what people are growing up like so soft and and, and they need that I just never understood that. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of this story, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.